This isn't going to be another boring video on Molin. So hold on to your cheeks, because today we're embarking on an epic quest through the untamed wilderness of toilet paper alternatives, respiratory support, and all around throat and lung health. In times of charm and scarcity, desperation can lead us down unexpected paths. Just like during the pandemic when all the shelves were stripped bare, and little did the common folk know, there's actually a plethora of plants outside that could have done the job. Mullen is probably the most common one associated with bathroom use, but did you know it actually has a huge range of medicinal benefits as well? In this video, we're going to go over the history of the plant, the many medicinal uses it serves, and how to properly identify it. So get comfortable and let's learn about this amazing plant that's probably growing outside somewhere near you. Huh. History The genus name Verbascum comes from the Latin word barbascum, which means bearded in reference to the hairy stamen filaments of the plant. Thapsus was a peninsula and city in Sicily famed for Caesar's victory over the inhabitants of Pompeii. So the full name technically means bearded plant from a peninsula in Sicily. Verbascum thapsus was first described by Carl Linnaeus in his 1753 species Plantarum. Mullen itself is derived from the French word for soft. The plant is native to Europe, Northern Africa, and Asia, and was intentionally introduced to America by early settlers, who placed the crushed seeds into slow-moving water to poison fish. The toxic seeds caused the fish to stop breathing, making them easy to collect and harvest. Hmm. A single plant can produce over 100,000 seeds. Mullen has a long history of human use and has been used for centuries in traditional medicine systems around the world. The ancient Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians all recognized its medicinal properties. It was used to treat respiratory ailments such as coughs, bronchitis, and asthma, as well as various other conditions including earaches, wounds, and diarrhea. Roman soldiers are said to have dipped the plant stalks in grease for use as torches. Other cultures used the leaves as wicks. Native Americans and American colonists lined their shoes with leaves from the plant to keep out the cold. Native American tribes also utilized the plant for various medicinal purposes. They brewed teas from the leaves and flowers to treat respiratory issues and used the soft leaves as padding in shoes or bedding. In Europe, the plant has a long history of use in folk medicine. It was often referred to as the candlewick plant because its dried stalks were dipped in fat or wax to make torches or candles. Also, it was used to make herbal teas and poultices for a wide range of ailments. By the late 1800s, Mullen became a popular treatment for people with tuberculosis in Europe, the United States, and the United Kingdom. While not as common as its medicinal uses, some cultures have also used the plant as a food source. The Romans reportedly used the leaves as a flavoring agent in dishes, and the Cherokee and Iroquois tribes used the leaves as a flavoring for soups. Many cultures have used the plant to smoke the leaves, make a cough syrup out of the boiled roots, and applied the crushed leaves over irritated skin to ease inflammation. Hey guys, Blake here. If you're enjoying my content and want to help the channel out for free, please hit that like and subscribe button and help me get to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and let's get back to the video. Uses one of the most appealing qualities of mullen leaves is their soft, velvety texture, which makes it perfect for using on your sensitive regions below. Unlike some other natural materials that may be rough, abrasive, or even poisonous and causing rashes on your booty, the plant's leaves offer a much more gentle and comfortable experience when used for personal hygiene purposes with no side effects or reactions to the skin. The leaves have natural absorbent properties, which are great at soaking up moisture and holding water and acting like a sponge or even a wash rag. If you needed to, you could even wash dishes with the leaves. Unlike conventional toilet paper, which is often made from bleached wood pulp and may contain harmful chemicals, mullen leaves are completely natural, biodegradable, and abundant in nature. For people experiencing diarrhea, mullen leaves and flowers are typically infused in water, then consumed internally. Diarrhea is usually related to some sort of infection or bowel disorder, which also causes inflammation in the body. Both concerns can be remedied with preparations of the plant or at least alleviate some of the symptoms. Burn and Wound Healing Mullen can be applied directly to the skin to help treat burns or wounds. This is traditionally done by making an ointment from the leaves. A poultice made from the leaves and seeds may also be used to draw out splinters. Traditionally, it has been used to treat a handful of lung and respiratory conditions, particularly pneumonia, tuberculosis, and whooping cough. These days, it's more commonly used for less serious conditions, like allergies, sore throat, tonsillitis, hoarseness, cough and cold, asthma, and bronchitis. Let's go over the many ways mullen is used medicinally. Coughs and congestion. Mullen is valued for its ability to soothe coughs and relieve congestion in the chest. Its expectorant properties help to loosen and expel mucus from the respiratory tract, making it easier to breathe. 
Mullen tea, which is made from the dried leaves or flowers, is a popular remedy for coughs and congestion. It can be consumed warm to provide relief from cough symptoms. In cases of bronchitis and asthma, the plant is often used to alleviate inflammation and promote bronchial relaxation. Its anti-inflammatory properties help to reduce irritation in the airways, while its mild sedative effects may help calm bronchial spasms. A tea or tincture from the leaves or flowers may be used as a supportive remedy for managing symptoms associated with these respiratory conditions. Ear Disorders The plant is used as a traditional treatment for earache due to its analgesic and pain-relieving properties. Mullen extracts can be included in eardrop formulations to treat ear infections due to its antibacterial and antiviral properties. In traditional practice, there are a few ways the plant is prepared for ear issues. An ointment is made from the leaves, then applied to the ear canal for pain relief, or the flowers are infused in olive oil, then used as eardrops to treat infections. Mullen is an expectorant, which means it's a substance that thins mucus or phlegm and makes it easier to cough up. It is an expectorant due to its high mucilage content. Mucilage is a thick, gluey substance produced by many plants, including mullen, and it has properties that help to soothe and lubricate irritated mucous membranes in the respiratory tract. When the plant is consumed as a tea or in other forms, the mucilage it contains coats the throat and respiratory passages. This coating action can help to loosen and expel mucus from the lungs and airways, making it easier to cough up and clear the respiratory system. Identification Mullen is a biennial plant that lives in a two-year life cycle. In its first year, it primarily consists of a small basal rosette of large, fuzzy, oval-shaped leaves, which are usually close to the ground. The leaves have a distinctive appearance due to their soft texture and silvery green coloration. In the second year, the plant sends up a tall flowering stalk, which can grow up to heights of 6 feet or 2 meters, and it produces its flowers and seeds during the second year. The leaves are one of its most recognizable features. They are large, soft, and fuzzy with a characteristic silvery-gray hue. The leaves exhibit an alternate growth habit along the stem. This means that the leaves are arranged in a staggered pattern, rather than directly opposite of each other. This alternate arrangement aids in efficient light capture and reduces shading between the leaves. Mullen's flowering stem stands tall compared to other plants around it. This allows the plant to elevate its flower spike high above the ground, maximizing its exposure to sunlight for optimal photosynthesis and reproduction by allowing the seeds to disperse easily. The sturdy nature of the stem also provides stability, supporting the weight of the flower spike and resisting damage from environmental factors such as wind or rain. The surface of the stem is covered in fine hairs that serve several purposes for the plant's survival. Firstly, they can help deter herbivores by making the stem less palatable and more difficult to consume. Secondly, the hairs play a role in reducing water loss from the stem's surface, especially in dry or arid environments, by creating a boundary layer that slows down the evaporation of water. Also, the presence of the hairs provides insulation, helping to moderate the temperature of the plant's tissue and protect it from extreme heat or cold. The plant produces small yellow flowers that are densely clustered on a tall spike-like structure at the apex of the stem, which stands out against the plant's typically green foliage. Each individual flower consists of five petals attached at the base, creating a distinct saucer-like shape. One of the coolest features of the flowers is their arrangement along the spike. They are organized in a spiral pattern, with each flower positioned slightly above the one below it, creating a visually striking display that draws insects' attention during the plant's flowering stage. The spiral arrangement's not only beautiful, but also serves a functional purpose by maximizing exposure to pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, and moths, so they can easily access the flowers to help pollinate the plant. Mullen flowers for about three months during the summer, starting at the bottom of the plant and moving upward. Each flower only stays open for part of a day, and only a few flowers are open at the same time. Mullen thrives in dry, open habitats such as fields, meadows, roadsides, and disturbed areas. It favors locations with lots of sunlight and well-drained soil, often establishing itself in areas with minimal competition from other plants. Toxic Lookalikes Foxglove or Digitalis purpurea has tall flower spikes that look similar to mullen, but its flowers are tubular and usually pink, purple, or white. Foxglove is highly toxic if ingested and can cause serious cardiac problems. I hope you enjoyed this video on the history, medicinal uses, and how to identify verbascum thapsus. And if you want to learn more about how to forage medicinal wild plants, please like and subscribe and check out my new video on wild lettuce. There's tons of great info in that one. Make sure to have a wonderful day and always keep your eyes open because you never know what you might find out in the wild.